Tempted to do the tracking on the Ford Mondeo Mark III. Uh, so we're going to take it out a quick drive, see which way the car leans towards. And then after that, we'll check, um, we'll do the tracking. I've done it at night because we use a laser, it's getting night, using a laser alignment tool. You can see the light a bit better. Okay. Right. I've taken the car out for a spin. And the car is drifting towards the pavement, towards the left. And also the steering wheel is over tilted over that way. Okay. And that's going straight ahead. So I've got a problem with the steering wheel. I don't like it doing that. I want it doing that like everyone else. Alright. And uh, also the drift is to the left. The car is drifting to the left when I let go of the steering wheel. Also on the track tracking device I've got here, it was about at the 55 mark, so nearly one degree. 50, 60 minutes in the degrees, 55 minutes I got, toe in. So what it is, is it is, if this is the left wheel, the left wheel is like this, and the right wheel is like that, and go roughly. And it's causing it to, it will cause in the long run, I've got new tyres on there. I know my track end joint is nice and loose for me to deal with. Uh, it's not stuck or anything, that's what I mean about it. The tyres are at the right pressure, uh, tyres are actually new. So it's worth doing it, definitely worth doing it. Okay, right, to correct this steering wheel problem is this diagram. To correct the drift over to the left and the extra too much of a toe in is this diagram. Right, so what I'm going to do, if you, I'm going to, these are eyes, so we're looking from this side, looking, from, I'll just simplify things for myself. Right, I think. What I'm going to do is this steering, everything is to the centre of the steering column. If I move this centre bar over that way, to the left, that is going to normally straighten out, isn't it? Okay, so that's what should happen. If I'm going to move that that way, that should straighten out. So, I'm going to call it a third of a turn. Okay, if I was to, if I was to look at it this way and I was to rotate the, the bar, the track bar, which is at the rear of the um, hub, the steering hub, if I was to rotate it clockwise, going that way, what's going to happen is I'm actually screwing it out. Oh no, I'm screwing out the back of the um, track end joint. All right? If it's screwing it out, that means I am going to push this, push this thing that way, aren't I? I'm going to push the track end rod. On this side, okay, if I'm looking at it, if I screw if I'm looking at it, it looks like it's going anti-clockwise. What it's actually doing is I'm screwing it in, aren't I? So this is going to go. As long as you do things by the same amount, that they should both move across and the steering wheel should straight. All right? Okay. So that's that. So I've got a third of the turn looking that way, anti-clockwise. A third of the turn looking clockwise, looking at from the right-hand side. Now to, start, to correct the drift and the extra toe in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and bring this right hand wheel like that, I'm going to swing it out and this left hand wheel swing it out, but I'm going to swing the right hand wheel out more and I'm going to swing the left hand wheel out less so if I swing the right hand wheel out more the car is going to more, more, it's going to straighten up isn't it, it's not going to go so much down that way, it should, instead of going that way it should go straight because it's more of this wheel going that way Okay. Um, now also, as I'm doing that, because the car should be on zero toe, it should be pointing straight like that. Instead, it should be no, on this, every car is varies, you need to check with your manufacturer or the Haynes manual. So, at the same time, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it two turns this way, one turn that way. So net effect is three turns. I'm estimating it will take three turns of the, of the screw to bring it back there and what I do is I actually put a bit of tape on the can't show you it's very dark but I, well, I would love to show you put a bit of tape on the track end uh, rod on each rod and as I rotate the tape gives me a good measurement uh, of it going around so okay and that if you notice because I've done this this right hand wheel more than the left hand wheel that should straighten me up plus correct the toe now I'm just using a bit of mathematics here Third of a turn anti clockwise, one turn anti clockwise equals one and three quarter turns. I'm adding up 
um, that one is a third of a turn clockwise and I've got two turns anti-clockwise so take that away one and two thirds turn anti-clockwise so I'm going to go anti-clockwise one and three one and a third anti-clockwise one and two thirds hopefully it should solve both problems in one fingers crossed I'm hoping to bring it this one somewhere down I should give you the results I'd love to show you but I can't I'm just gonna have to do it and then hope for the best I should. all right so uh, the results was the steering wheel was pretty much unaffected after I made the one and three quarter turns and the clockwise uh, to bring the uh, wheel in and this one one and two third turn bring the third wheel, third wheel in and also really to, to do the steering wheel as well and to stop the veering so what happened was the steering wheel looked pretty much the same which means I underestimated how much of an effect it will have so next time I'm going to move it over a lot more okay um, so what I did earlier in effect it was three turns now I worked out three turns the the pendulum swung too much the other way instead of 50 minutes toe in it became 50 minute toe out so instead of having like you see my shadow instead of doing that it started doing that so three turns is that so one and a half turn is what I need in total to bring it bring it back in uh, dead center that's what I'm looking for now um, what did um, work was it stopped veering to the left all right so it's not veering to the left anymore so the, the right wheel being over that way way more than the left wheel coming over this way opening this way a little bit more two turns that way one turn that had an effect of bringing the wheel the car straight all right so now i know it's a bit easy, so i'm gonna do it again uh tomorrow probably it's getting too dark um so i'm gonna take it one whole turn clockwise looking at it from this way uh, turning the bar remembering that the tracking rod is at the rear of the the, the, the knuckle steering knuckle so instead of a third that I tried one whole one so I'm going to move that center column this so this center column it's screwing screwing out this way and screwing in this way the whole lot moves that way so the wheel should point still straight ahead shouldn't have an effect if you do equally on both sides um, it should change that though which would change that right now so I know so I'm gonna have an effect I know it's I know it's going straight ahead so I want to bring the wheels in but equal amounts I don't want to do anything apart from equal amounts um, and I worked out now I need one and a half turns so one and a half turns in total is what I need for 50 minutes okay um, so here we go so 0.75 I'm going to do it for 0.75 I'm going to bring, the, bring this left wheel in 0.75 um, of a turn on the the track and rod uh, 0.75 this way because this is not veering and I've tallied them up any clockwise clock, uh, clockwise gives you a quarter turn what I'm going to do tomorrow quarter turn anti-clockwise and this one uh, one and three quarter turns clockwise all right fingers crossed here's a picture of a, a uh, wheel that's towed out so that's the front and the rear uh, toe in would be like so just to recap it was 55 minutes toe in when I first had it before I changed anything then I then I wound in I tried to wind in the uh, the steering to straighten the wheel out the steering wheel because it was bent over like that a third of a turn that wasn't enough I found I underestimated it and um, then I recalculated it as, as I said earlier um, 
and what happened was I moved it over a full turn more so it was one and three quarter turn now the steering wheel to give you the result is straight okay the drift is stopped because um, I whereas it was tow in before 55 degrees remember I turned it two turns that way and only one turn that way to make it tow out okay so this so the car is going to pull straight instead of pulling to the left which it has stopped doing but I found out now it's tow out like it is in this picture here by 55 degree uh, 55 minutes so that's too much so I calculate that okay 100 roughly 100 minutes is three turns whole turns so I okay run it both in by um, three quarters so 0 0.75 0 0.75 uh, so 3 divided by uh, 2 is 0 0.75 um, 1 and a half I mean 1 and a half and, and I divided 1 and a half by 0 0.75 each okay so that 0 0.75 add 0 0.75 is 1 and a half which is half of 3 and I was hoping yes and uh, the result is it is kind of pointing at toe out but only slightly is only slightly at um, 10 minutes tow out which is plus or minus which is sort of near plus or minus eight minutes which is the limit you want to set out which is okay with me it's, st it's steering straight it's not veering to the left feels good uh, and i know it's not going to wear down my tires um i'm quite happy with that so that's the caster angle of, of the vehicle you can't really change that uh camber angle Natural can be can't change that. Um, this is the only one you can change the toe in and out. All right, so that's the mechanics of um, doing wheel alignment, how I do it. I uh, hope that helps. Or in English, they call it tracking. That's so I know there's no other video that goes through the mechanics of it. So I hope that is helpful. If you want to see a video on how to actually rotate the rods i might do one later or you can look online there's plenty of videos i'll show you how to do that okay please subscribe like and share thank you very much